we're about to join a go to meeting session and we're now I'm going to enter the password pass number which is in the email you received and we can see that there are three participants this one over here is called Lana it's actually an iPad computer and this other one is a smartphone an Android smartphone at the moment I have not switched the camera on on the computer but what I want to show you is the useful feature of sharing a screen this computer actually has got two monitors and you can share monitor one, monitor two or both I'll just share monitor one when you share the monitor you then get to see your screen and on this computer the go to meeting becomes a smaller view what you can do is change the options here to only show active cameras or show who's talking one of the useful features is you can do presentations what I'll do is I'll shift this onto the other monitor so it's out the way and this is what the people on the other computers are seeing one of the problems of works of art is if you try and use a camera in your computer the quality of image is not as good as when you actually take a photograph what I'm going to do now on the Android computer is share that screen and what we're now seeing is the screen for the Android computer one of the things you can do on the large monitors you can actually minimize the screens by playing around with the buttons or we just use the blind to take it up one of the advantages of this then is sharing the screen is you can zoom in on the work of art in the photograph you probably for those who were there this is actually Lorraine Lewitzka's workshop at Victor Harbour when she is just about to use this photograph in the creation of a beautiful watercolour portrait we're back to the screens so on the conclusion then is if you use this button at the top here you can show who's talking instead of lots of little thumbnail images the active cameras hide everybody which is very useful when you are sharing a screen thank you